What's up guys, James here from Boot Wizard Boot Reviews and today we are going to take a look at the X-Ghosted Point 1 in the AG model. Now AG has become more and more important and AG plates are becoming more and more important over time. The FG AG is kind of dying out, Adidas have moved away from it here, Puma have got it on their Ultra kind of but not really. Nike have had the AG Pro for some time and that is their alternative because their FG models are just too aggressive. But there's a huge thing missing from this AG boot and it's that high price, big ticket, Carbotex insert. So firstly, why? Why is it missing? And it's because Adidas do something that most top end brands do with their AG plate in that they just have an AG plate that they transfer from boot to boot to boot. It doesn't matter what boot you buy in the Adidas lineup, you get this AG plate. It's kind of the same with Nike and their AG Pro. The pattern is the same. The studs are the same. They just change it up. And for example, in the Mercuro, you still get a split sole design. They have changed it ever so slightly on the GT. And we'll see if that's something that goes forward where they've made the studs a little bit shorter. We'll see if that happens on future boots. But in this instance, this is exactly what you get from any AG boot. It's a new AG pattern that they have developed fairly recently. It came out with the Predator in January, but it's the same one. There's no difference. So all they've done is they've taken the X, what, X Ghosted Point 1 upper and slapped their generic AG plate on it, which on the whole, people don't complain about too much. However, when one of your biggest ticket items is a Carbotex insert in the forefoot of your boot and you don't have it on the AG option, surely I'm getting less value for money here. These two boots are exactly the same price. Doesn't matter which one you buy. And if I need an AG boot, I'm probably gonna be a little bit upset that I don't get all the bells and whistles just because I play on a different surface. There's nothing wrong with the AG plate as a whole and it's actually fairly snappy and responsive for an AG plate. I can't really complain about it too much. It's only when you put it up as a comparison to the point one that I'm like, well, why would I buy that when I want this? Like I want all of this because this is my favorite thing about the boot. So why have Adidas done this? Well, one of the most expensive parts of a boot to design and manufacture is the outsole. So by transferring an AG plate across all of their models, they do actually save themselves quite a bit of money. And in this instance, if they were to add the Carbotex insert to here, it would mean a brand new sole plate design. So even if they use the same, same stud shapes, same stud pattern, it would be a brand new design and that would still cost them yet more money. Now, now, of course, that's not really my problem. It's not really your problem either. If they want to put carbon fiber in, they should probably put it in the AG version as well. Or in my opinion, they should charge less for the AG if you're not getting it. I think that AG plates are an area of football boots that are somewhat overlooked by brands as a whole. It's a very large industry of people who play on AG pretty much exclusively and the FG AG boot or the AG boot is something that they should really invest more time and money into because I believe that the demand is there. I wouldn't be surprised to find out that they sell more AG boots than SG boots for example and yet the SG has the Carbotex. So it's just a bit disappointing. There's nothing more to it than it's an AG plate on the brand new upper and it just isn't as good. It's just not, it's that simple. Now you could make the argument that maybe putting the Carbotex insert into the AG boot would make it more aggressive, would make it stiffer, and therefore it's not actually safe to have in an AG boot. You could also argue that due to the increased demands of an AG pitch with regards to durability, the heat, and anything like that, it would have an adverse effect on the carbon fiber insert. But I would then say that it's still down to Adidas to provide you with a product that's of equally high quality or at least equally high technical design rather than just here is the Predator 20 
AG plate, whack it on there. You could have the, the carbon fiber in here, but not have it exposed. Other brands have done things like that before by taking out holes in boots that were there for weight saving and covering them over because the AG pitch is a much more abrasive, much more demanding pitch on its materials. Are there any other differences? Well, I do think that the toe box area of the AG has a little bit more protection around it. There just seems to be like an extra tiny little layer of film that runs around. It's just to protect it and maybe to secure the boot, the glue a little bit more to stop sole separation, which is of course more likely to happen on that abrasive AG pitch. It just doesn't seem to be quite as prevalent on the FG boots. And that is nice to see, even if it is only a very small change. And then if we pop them both on the scales, if we start with the AG boot, what we're going to find is that that is going to come in at 216 grams. So it's significantly heavier than what you get from the FG boot, which is 190. So you're adding the best part of 25 grams to the weight of the boot as well in order to get the AG version. But that's generally the case anyway. Like I say, it needs to have more durability because of the type of pitch. And with this particular boot, because of the way it's designed, I would imagine that it needs some serious reinforcement around that sole plate area to stop it from separating. Something else to consider, another big selling point or a big tech feature of the X Ghosted line is this kind of tilt upwards that you get in the forefoot of both the Plus and Point One SG and FG models. It's all designed around that running spike again. It's designed to push you onto your toes. Is that present on the AG version? Well, not really. It is more present than you're gonna find on some other AG models like the Predator, for example, but it's certainly not as prevalent as you're gonna find on those other boots. So not only are you not getting the Carbotex insert, you're also not getting the same sensation on the boot. While I'm absolutely certain that these two boots were built on the same last, the simple change of the sole plate also means that I feel like there's a bit of extra width in the AG boot. It just seems to stretch out that midfoot area just a little bit more and give you a little bit more room. So if you are a slightly wider footed person, you're worried about getting the ghosted point one and you want that extra bit of width, maybe the AG would be a good option for you but is it a compromise you're willing to make by losing that Carbotex insert? It is worth mentioning that similar to Nike's AG Pro plate on the Vapor, Adidas's AG plate is actually fairly good for FG pitches. If you get a fairly nice FG surface, something that's not too wet or soggy, you're gonna be bordering towards SG, a genuine firm natural grass, it's actually very usable. So if you're a little bit concerned about the super aggressive nature of the FG boot, then moving to the AG could be a good way to go. You don't have quite as stiff an upper, you don't have as aggressive as studs, you've got more rotational movement, you've got more flexibility, and for some people you can certainly see that as a positive thing. If you do want to check out a full tech spec review so you know every little detail about the upper of this boot and about the outsole on the FG, then do head over to my review of the X Ghosted Point One, which is already up on the channel. That'll give you all the tech spec breakdown and you'll know exactly what you're buying. And then of course you can pick it up with the AG plate if you want to. Do let me know down in the comments, do you think that not including that carbon fiber insert is a bit of a robbery? Is it worse value for money without it? Or are you happy to just get the ghosted with the AG plate knowing that the AG plate is going to be suitable for that particular surface? Be very interested to hear your thoughts. Do remember to like the video and if you do want to see any of my other videos, all my future stuff, I cover absolutely everything. Top ends, takedowns, it's all coming to the channel. I've got the ghosted point two, point three, point three laceless, it's all coming to the channel. Then get subscribed, put those notifications on and we will get it all on the channel for you very soon. I think I'm rambling now, but we'll get to the end of the video. I hope you've had a good day. Ghosted, laceless, I don't know what's happening anymore. We will see you soon, bye.